Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the Studio Series Decepticon Rumble. So what we're going to do with this video, we're going to unbox him live in a second, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging. We're going to have a look at him in both of his modes, I'm going to do my best to see if I can get him as a cassette into the Netflix version of Soundwave. So that's going to be interesting. We're also going to see how we can use his power drivers and his uh, blasters. We are then of course going to do some comparisons of him with other versions of rumble that have been released down the generations toy line yes i am going to get all blue ones just purely for this video and rather than getting out every single rumble and frenzy figure that we've got we can also of course see how he then looks with some of the rest of the minions and indeed how he fares up with some other core class figures as well in the same and differentiating toy line so as you can see quite a bit to get through with this video so as i start to pop all these away i'd like to remind anybody who's not subscribed to this channel if they'd like to hit that subscribe button for me now please and the other is to thank robot recruits the online uk retailer where i purchased this from and as you can see they got him to me nice quickly and safely so really excited to get this guy he just looks so good so there's a big obviously window there where you can see inside i can just about make out his power drivers either side there lovely artwork of the face and i suppose bust of him there's the full uh, picture of him there and then on the back as we've just seen he's going to take nine steps to transform now although he's been out for some time i've still managed to stay away from seeing any reviews on this particular character i've just seen pictures of him um, and again for exactly that reason i'm really excited to see how he goes i'm hoping that it's not going to be too difficult to transform because i want to try and do all this in one take for you there's his instructions let's just spin that around there for a second um and oh no he's tie wrapped in so bear with me a few seconds i'm just going to cut him out and come straight back to you so there we go i've set him free from the packaging and we're going to do some first impressions um and already i'm liking the look of him he looks a little bit different compared to the other cassettes we're gonna have a look at that in a second um obviously he's small and obviously he is a core class price and he is obviously smaller than the standard core class figures but again that's why we've got all these accessories to bolster up um what comes with him and i think as i say it works really well i haven't looked at them yet they do look good um and i'm loving the fact that i've had a look on the back that we can of course have have the guns in the back and the pile drivers um, on the forearm so we're going to have a look at that in a second and again with regards to scale with the rest of the core class and indeed the whole of studio series 86 obviously he's in his exo suit i would imagine that that is a perfect perfect scale but let's have a look at him in fact before we have a look at him although there's no uh, proper backdrop i'm sure that's the tower which of course he is instructed to destroy in the movie i'm pretty sure it is but the figure itself first impressions i'm liking it i mean look at the detail there on the head sculpt it will spin all the way around it is on like a mushroom peg or a ball and socket however you want to refer to it same obviously you can see as the shoulders now there's no bicep or elbow joint the fists are going to move in i would imagine that's for transformation there is obviously is it ball and socket or i don't know what it is but it's a full hinge kicking all the way up kicking all the way back the arms obviously are going to go out to the side they'll go all the way around as well there is a knee bend and there's these feet which definitely definitely in fact let me grab um the war for cybertron version so yeah there's a huge difference in these to be honest um he's a little bit taller um the head is again loads difference um obviously the head on this is going to you can see tuck into the back um there's the same sort of gaps but the fists on these obviously sort of move the same but you can really see a big difference between the two there i really really like that i'm liking this um right let before we attach all his accessories he is rumble and we've got to see if he does this so this can't be that difficult i'm looking at the back of the case there um these are going to fold in the fists of surely got to go under we're going to get him into cassette mode which is of course a completely defunct um, alternate mode most people don't even know what a cassette is uh, but for any g1ers like myself or um, just anybody wanting that bit of nostalgia it's got to be able to do this there is i suppose a sort of cassette let's see if we can do it this is the important bit can we do this and the answer is yes 
there you go that's all he needs to do that's all he needs to do anybody hasbro to car at any third party companies obviously if you're going to make rumble or any of the cassettes that's all they've got to do and you can say that they do do that so i'm more than made up with that can i take him out though that's the question yes he comes out no problem whatsoever so more than happy with that uh let's have a look at him now then in his robot mode and attach some accessories you saw that the transformation process wasn't that difficult it's quite clever to be fair you can see how everything tucks away inside itself uh, we can spin that round at the shin and the feet do pop out very very reminiscent of the original generation one which i'm going to bring out again in a second these are going to fold around just like so let's obviously in fact i'm going to keep the fists in because it looks like i need to to go for full-on pile driver mode so i'm looking yeah i've got to turn the shoulder joint out i'm going to do that like this and before we do that let's have a look at the pile drivers do these move they don't move what do they oh they come off so they do actually come off so it's up to you how you want to display them you've got to obviously have them with them on like pile drivers haven't you surely you've got to right let's pop this it's a good job i'm looking at the back of this box i'm just gauging that this is how everything goes now to be honest and it's so typical i sold my masterpiece versions only last week but i prefer this i do prefer this i like the color scheme better i put i like the masterpiece ones but again you're talking a huge huge price difference um with these let's put this on the back I'm, I'm really impressed with this for a core class price for what you get for the detail um as i said i've literally typically only just sold the masterpiece ones but i prefer this little guy <laughs> he looks so good he really does so can we bend him over a little bit and have it look like he's pounding the ground yes we can we could can we bend the knees a little let's have a look yeah it's it oh wow made up with this absolutely made up with this um i know and that's the last time i'm going to mention it obviously you're going to get the controversy with the color of him but i grew up with the cartoons rather than the comics so for me this is the perfect um incarnation of him he just like yeah there he is jumping on top of the satellites first we crack the shell as everybody says right let's move that out of the way so i'm not going to bring sound wave it well i could do let's bring in some of the core class figures so obviously not as tall but again with the width with everything else that you're getting looks really really good <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> let's just bring in again a few of these other cassettes that came out at the time uh ravage scales pretty well with him then we've got um laser beak ironically enough just because i did an unboxing video this morning i've got a g1 gold cliff jumper to give you an idea of how big he is compared to a g1 figure do i dare transform this guy probably not nope you can see why that's why we'll come back to him in a separate video right uh micromaster figures then from wolf cybertron taller than them which is good um third party figures what have i got let's have a quick look iron factory magic square and new age just to give you an idea of scale there because they are of course all aimed at being uh, legend scale figures right let's get up the important ones some more rumble figures now that's what you can see what i mean there about the feet coming out of this particular one i've got horrendous loose joints in my original g1 ones which you can see there and then we've got this particular version which i've always liked as well from transformers united very quickly i'm going to take off these or take off one of them and let's see how we can attach the weapons i'm just going to say i'm sure they're just going to go on the forearms like so so are they it must do it must be because it's brand new yeah there you go you can hear that actually snap in uh can you store these anywhere doesn't look like you can so once these are off um they are definitely off so you've got a choice again you can have the weapons on the back or you can put them like i'm going to just very quickly however i am going to be displaying them i think i've put them on upside down to be honest and what i mean by that is you can see that we've got this raised part which i'm sure you'll agree looks a little bit better yeah it does it looks better that way round. but yeah it's not working for me it looks okay it is a ooh, i'm knocking everything over it is a brilliant homage to the original g1 figure but for me it's definitely all about them pile drivers so i'm going to wrap this video up now i'm going to bring in Soundwave. i'm going to bring in ravage again very quickly and laser big and i'm just going to keep the original there 
just while I finish this off. I want you to let me know in the comments how you're going to be displaying him. Um, are you going to be displaying him with the par drivers? I think you've got to, haven't you? Let's be honest. If you're going to be getting Frenzy, the red one as well, which I'm pretty sure you will be if you're going to be getting these, same as myself, it would make perfect sense. And it'd be silly not to display Rumble Blue with his par drivers out like this and then Frenzy with the blasters you might even if you wanted to give give one of rumble's blasters to frenzy so he can have some in his hands and indeed have some on his back this is really tight you can see that it is i'm going to wrap the video up now very impressed with this guy he just seems to be so difficult to get in the uk and that's what took so long uh, for me to get hold of him but there we go there is rumble from the studio series 86 uh, toy line let me know what you think of him in the comments guys take care